Hello there guys, welcome to the channel, talking with Jaceburn, and welcome to video number 2 on the channel for the YouTube series, Shark Week. I'm going to be reviewing the movie, The Meg. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Earlier on I uploaded my review for Deep Blue Sea. I'll leave a link in the description, annotation at the end of the video, and a card above my head. Hopefully you guys can watch that after this video. Also down in the description and an annotation at the end of the video, there'll be a link to the playlist for Shark Week, where you can check out all the other stuff which I've reviewed on the channel so far as well. So without further ado guys, don't forget to leave your ratings and thoughts in the comment section of course, but let's jump straight into it. The Meg, this is a 2018 action horror sci-fi movie around 1 hour and 53 minutes long. A group of scientists exploring the Marianas Trench encounter the largest predator that has ever existed called the Megalodon. Let's jump straight into the good points. Now the good points about this movie is this movie is what I was hoping for. When I went into this and I see the trailer, I was hoping that it didn't try to compete with obviously Jaws and all the other great movies of shark movies pretty much. And especially rewatching it as well. It knows what it was trying to do. It done it in a great way being a fun and entertaining movie whilst knowing it's trying to be silly. The first half of the movie had a great informative story. The sci-fi side of this movie as well was very interesting, especially the parts as they found out the undiscovered fish area underwater. The tension in this movie was great for the most part as well. The movie technically was flawless. You couldn't ask for anything better. The cinematography was great. The editing was cut very nicely as well. And the CGI was really great as well. This all worked with a big budget, of course. The Megalodon looked amazing as well, I must say. Likewise with all the other ocean creatures. But with all that, we get the great cast as well. The main one for me, obviously, is the main man, Jason Statham. He was great in this movie, suited it perfectly as well because he's had water experience. He's been like a diver and stuff like that before in the past, which made it even more believable, and he was just pure badass. As well as with Jason Statham's performance, he has a relationship with the little girl in this movie, which I found very cute. She was a nice addition to the movie as well. Cliff Curtis, I absolutely love. This guy was pure entertaining from the beginning to the end when when we first met him, he was great. He was a typical scaredy cat sort of character, and he can't even swim. Even though he's working in a building that's pretty much on the ocean, he can't swim, which is just pure great. Ruby Rose in this movie was quite cool as well in some parts, and gave some witty humour as well. Most of the side characters were good throughout the movie as well, giving us some great deaths, some great action, or even great humour. The best scene for me in this movie was the beach scene, which I found really entertaining, where you got pure shark destruction. Come in and nomming a load of people. Now on to the bad points. Now the bad points about this movie is... Now the romance in this movie between Jason Statham and the lead woman of the movie just wasn't convincing enough. It felt very forced. It felt like a fling. It just felt like one of them, let's just sleep together and get over with sort of thing. Most of the script in this movie was cringy for the actors as well. Some of the humour just didn't land. This movie should have been a rated R. If this movie was a rated R, I think it would have been better, entertaining, because you'd have got a lot more gore, some more shark action. Even though most of the side characters have good moments, they were really forgettable. And this was the main bad point for me, because I didn't care about most of the side characters. I, I didn't feel like they had a big story to put play in this movie. I was pretty much focused on Jason Statham and the Megalodon and maybe the little girl as well. I cared more for the dog in the water in, in this movie, which was being chased by the shark, than I did with most of the humans in this movie. So guys, it's rating time. Let's have a look what the critics had to rate this movie. We have IMDb giving a 5.7 out of 10. Rotten Tomatoes giving a 46%. And Metacritic giving a 46. My rating for this movie is... A 7 out of 10. That makes this a good movie. Overall, guys, this movie is a guilty pleasure shark movie. I, I really enjoyed doing today's two reviews because Deep Blue Sea and this movie are quite similar in a way to me. I find them sort of guilty pleasure movies. They're not trying to be the big guns, really. And I think with a great cast and good performances, you get a really a massive shark as well compared to other sharks which you've seen. Obviously, the biggest shark ever. 
and a massive facility is just going completely at it with the shark. You get Jason Statham being Jason Statham against these sharks as well. Great action, great tense moments, but also having some bad, cheesy problems, which could be classed as terrible or bad, but good in a way. That, that sort of guilty pleasure, really. So guys, a 7 out of 10 for the Meg. Don't forget to leave your ratings and thoughts down below in that comment section, of course. I'd love to hear what you guys have got to say. And if you enjoyed the video, simply smash that thumbs up. Let us know you enjoy the content I'm giving you. And also share the video around for other people to enjoy as well. And if you're new, consider subscribing and hitting that bell for much, much more. You're not going to want to miss the stuff coming up on the channel, as well as the stuff already on the channel. We've got a bunch of stuff on the channel when it comes to movies and TV series. We review, we rank, and we also react to trailers and fan edits so there's a bunch of stuff on the channel and much much more to come especially with shark week it's not over yet so without further ado guys i've been me you've been you and i'll see you next time guys on talking with jay spring it